Hello, everybody. Welcome. Um, we'll jump right in. So let's get going. We're going to start in child's pose today, but as you make your way down onto all fours, a little different in the setup. I want you to find hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips to start, bring your big toes to touch, and then replace your hands with your elbows here. Push your elbows forward, send your hips back. Work your hands towards your shoulders, and you might have to slide your elbows in a little to get those sit bones back further, but try and keep your elbows as far away from your knees as you can as you reach your sit bones back towards your heels. Relax your head, soften through your hips and across your lower back. Close your eyes if they're not closed already. And take big, full, expansive breaths into your back ribs. Filling up, expanding as you breathe in. And softening, stretching, lengthening through those triceps as you breathe out. Using your breath to create a little space from the inside out. Using your breath to cleanse. Filling up on that expansion and then using your exhale to let go. We can study and learn and think and gather information and hypothesize, but one of the most effective ways to embody a lesson is to experience it. When we go out in search of information and quote unquote answers to questions, we shouldn't stop there. The ask is that we take the information we receive and go live it out, go see for ourselves, live out the questions and shape for ourselves based on our own experience, our own conclusions. As we are ever evolving through our experiences, this is a lifelong process, living out the questions again and again, coming to our own conclusions again and again. Stay in it. Continue to absorb and learn as much as you can and then wring out like a sponge that which experience brings clarity to. Your experiences and you are your greatest teachers. Take another full breath in, expand your back ribs, fill up and empty even more as you exhale. Extend your arms out in front of you, turn your palms down, reach through your fingertips. Then on your next breath in, pull forward into a modified up dog. Hips move towards your wrists, spin your biceps outward, pull your heart forward and up. Push down into your hands to move your shoulders away from your ears. Take a full breath in. As you exhale, start to circle your hips to the right. You can make this as big or small as you'd like. Send your hips towards the back of your mat, around to the left, and then pull through that modified up dog again. Now you might close your eyes here and just let your body feel it. Feel what feels good, take what feels good. Let your body and other places respond naturally like your neck and your head. Maybe one or two more circles to the right. The next time you pull into that modified up dog, reverse. Take those hips left, no rush. Go at your own pace. Again, make these circles as big or small as you'd like. You might try and close the eyes and just feel it. Taking what feels good, letting your body respond.
Maybe one or two more circles to the left. And the next time you pull into that modified up dog, stay there. Take a full breath in. Exhale, press back to all fours. This time, flip your wrists, flip your hands so that your fingers point towards your knees and just knead your mat a little bit. Press into your right hand, press into your left hand, back and forth a couple times, opening up through your wrist and forearms. And then you might take a couple rocks back and front. Go to any depth, any degree. If the flipping of your hands and wrists is too much, then just come back to normal. And then we'll all flip our hands back to normal. Fingers point forward again. Spread those fingers wide. Tuck your toes. Take a big inhale. Exhale, stretch back, downward facing dog. Press all the way into your fingertips. Take a little weight out of your wrists as you lift through your forearms all the way up to your hip creases. Melt your heels to the floor. Keep energy reaching out your heels. Inhale, pull forward to plank. Shoulders over wrist. Zip your belly in. Glue your hips in space as much as possible. Four shoulder taps. Right hand taps left shoulder. Switch. Left hand taps right shoulder. Two more. Tap. Tap. Stay in plank. Take a breath in. Exhale. Press back. Downward facing dog. Again, pull forward to plank. Push into your hands, zip your belly in, glue those hips in space, four shoulder taps, tap four, tap three, tap two, tap one, stay in plank, big inhale, exhale, downward facing dog. Last time, inhale, pull forward to plank, glue those hips in space, four shoulder taps, tap four, three, Two, stay in plank, take a breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Gaze to your feet, that's where we're headed. I want you to walk your hands back to your feet. Forward fold at the back of your mat. Add a generous bend to your knees. Shake out your head, shake out your shoulders. Stay heavy there. Soften your knees and unroll all the way up to stand. Once you arrive, take a couple shoulder rolls back. Keep your feet hip width apart here. Anchor through your feet. Inhale, reach your arms around and up. Exhale, your hands behind you. Interlace your fingers. Inhale, chest expansion. Knuckles drive down. Heart lifts. Exhale, forward fold with chest expansion. You can find a bend in your knees again, just as much as you need. Work your forehead closer to your knees. Squeeze the heels of your hands together. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Widen across your chest. Take a full breath in. And as you exhale, bend your left knee deeply. Work your left shoulder inside your left knee. Turn your gaze under and up over that right shoulder. Try and drive your knuckles over to the left side of your space and push more into your right foot. Take a full breath in here. Exhale, come back to center. Keep that bind in your arms. Big breath in. Exhale, bend your right knee. Dip that right shoulder inside your right knee. Pull your knuckles over to the right side of your space. Turn your gaze up and under that left shoulder. Push more into your left foot. Take a full breath in. And as you exhale, come back to center. Keep that bind. Staying centered, take one more inhale all the way up into your collarbones. And this time as you exhale, let your arms release. Shake it out again. Easy neck, easy shoulders. And then one more time, soften your knees and unroll all the way up to stand. Take a couple shoulder rolls back. Nice. As you step your right foot to the middle of your mat, hug your left knee into your chest. 
Squeeze that left knee in. Find your balance and just circle your left foot and ankle around a few times one way. Zip your belly in here a few times the other way. And bring your right hand to your right hip. Can you use your left hand to squeeze that left knee in even more. Open it out to the left. And then left hand can release. Keep circling that left leg around two more times. Big circle out and around. One more up, out, and around. And then step that left foot forward. Hug your right knee in. Nice squeeze, compressing that right hip flexor. Scoop your belly in and then just circle right foot and right ankle a few times one way. And a few times, other way. Bring your left hand to your left hip. Use your right hand to squeeze that knee in even more. Open that right leg out. And then as you release your right hand, two more big circles with that right leg up, out, and around. Up, out, and around. Beautiful feet together, top of mat. Big toes touch. Hands to heart center. Soften or close your eyes. Anchor through your feet. Zip up through your pelvic floor. As your heart softens, add length through the back of your neck, out the top of your head. And perhaps return to that intention of using experience to embody the lessons we learn. Using experience to cultivate our own conclusions. Living out the questions. Bow your forehead to your heart. Surya Namaskara A. Eh? Inhale, sweep your arms around and uplift your heart. Press your palms. Exhale, fold forward. Drop your head. Inhale, half lift, long spine. Exhale, step or jump. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, stretch. Now today, consciously press into the tops of your feet. Pull your belly back. Exhale, stay on the tops of your feet. And then once you're in down dog, untuck those toes. Just trying to activate the core a little more as you pull up and back into down dog. Three breaths here, big inhale. Big exhale. Inhale, feel free to open your mouth and exhale out your mouth if you need to move anything through. One more inhale. And exhale. Inhale, rise to toes, gaze forward. Exhale, bend your knees, step or jump feet to hands. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep your arms around and up. Press your palms. Exhale, fold forward. Drop your head. Inhale, half lift. Tailbone lengthens back. Top of head pulls forward. Exhale, step or jump. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Press into the tops of your feet. Exhale, pull your belly back, lift your hips, and then untuck your toes. Big breath in. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Take one more breath in. Full breath out. Inhale, rise to toes, gaze forward. Exhale, bend your knees. Step or jump, feet to hands. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep your arms around and up. Press your palms. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step or jump. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, stretch. Press down into the tops of your feet. Belly pulls back, exhale, lift those hips and then flip your toes. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. 
Take one more breath in, full breath out. Inhale, rise to toes, gaze forward. Exhale, bend your knees. Step or jump, feet to hands. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep your arms around and up, press your palms. Exhale, hands to heart. Take a breath. Surya Namaskara B. Inhale, sit low, Utkatasana. Squeeze your knees together, scoop your belly in. Reach through your fingertips, lift your heart, take another inhale. As you exhale, reach your fingers straight forward in Utkatasana. So long spine here, hips are pulling back, fingers are reaching forward, zip your belly in and up off your thighs. Push down into your feet. Inhale, come all the way up to rise. Exhale, big arm circle back and let that take you into a forward fold. Inhale, half lift, lengthen. Exhale, step or jump. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Tops of feet, exhale, down dog. Flip your toes at the very end. Inhale your right leg to the sky, melt your left heel to the floor. Exhale, right knee, right elbow, and pause. Push into your hands, pull your belly in. Draw that right knee over to your left elbow, and back to the right, two more. Over to the left, back to the right. One more, left and right. Inhale, three-legged dog, lift that right leg up and back. Exhale, step your right foot between your hands. Drop your back knee. Big arm circle here. Inhale, arms forward and up. Exhale, your arms around and down. With those back toes tucked, inhale, stretch both legs straight. Pull your hips back, heart forward. As you exhale, soften over your front leg. Rebend your front knee. Inhale, rise, high lunge. Pull your right hip back, left hip forward. Draw your belly and front ribs back and sit lower in your hips. Soften your shoulders. Reach through your fingers, take a big breath in. Exhale, warrior two. Inner right knee moves forward. Outer right hip pulls back. Add a little more reach to those back fingers as you square your torso off to the left side of your space, but gaze over your right middle finger. Inhale, floating warrior, right leg stretches straight, right toes turn in, reach up. Exhale, warrior two, back of mat. Right toes turn in slightly, left toes point straight back. Push down and out through your feet. Reach wider through your arms. Left palm to the ceiling. Inhale, reach back, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Left hand to the inside of your left foot. Reach your right arm all the way overhead. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Push left arm into left leg to help spin your left ribs around and up. Anchor more through your back foot. And as you pull your belly in, try and lengthen your right sit bone towards your back heel. Inhale, reverse triangle, left leg stretches straight, reach up and towards the front of your space. Keep moving in that direction, low lunge, facing front. Inhale, low lunge twist, right arm high. Exhale, Vashi Stasna, roll to the outer edge of your left foot. Option to stack your right leg. Option to bring your left knee to the floor. Wherever you are, option to float that right leg. Pull your belly in here. Reach through those top fingertips. Stay for a breath in. Exhale, chaturanga, beautiful. Inhale, up dog. Push into the tops of your feet, belly pulls back. Exhale, lift those hips. Untuck those toes, downward facing dog. Inhale your left leg to the sky. Melt your right heel to the floor. Exhale, left knee, left elbow, and pause. Push into your hands, pull your belly in. Left knee moves to the right elbow. Back to the left. Two more, take it right. And left. Take it right. 
and left. Inhale, three-legged dog. Lift your left leg up and back. Exhale, step your left foot between your hands. Drop your back knee and keep those back toes tucked. Arms circle. Inhale, arms reach forward and up. Exhale, all the way around and down. Toes are tucked. Inhale, stretch both legs straight. Hips back. Heart pulls forward. Exhale, fold over that front thigh. Rebend your front knee. Inhale, high lunge, arms lift, belly pulls in. Sit lower in your hips and let your shoulders relax. Left hip back, right hip forward, square off a little bit more. Stay for a breath in. Exhale, warrior two, seal that back heel down. Let that inner left knee move forward, that outer left hip pull back. Add a little more reach to those back fingers as you square your torso off to the right side of your space, but then gaze over your left middle finger. Inhale, floating warrior, left leg straight, left toes in, arms up. Exhale, warrior two, back of mat. Left toes turn in slightly, right toes point straight back. Draw your belly in here. Let your tailbone lengthen towards the floor. Reach more through your fingertips. Gaze is over that right middle finger. Turn your right palm to the ceiling. Inhale, reach back, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Right hand to the inside of your right foot. Left arm all the way overhead. Draw your shoulders down away from your ears. Press right arm into right leg to help spin your torso and heart around. As you anchor through that back foot, as you pull that belly in, let your left sit bone reach towards your back heel. Inhale, reverse triangle, right leg stretches straight, right arm reaches towards the front of your space. Keep moving in that direction, low lunge, facing front. Inhale, low lunge, twist, left arm high. Exhale, your version of Vashistasana, side plank. You might stack your legs. You might lower your right knee to the floor. Maybe you float that left leg off the floor. Reach through those top fingers, pull your belly in. Take a full inhale. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, stay on the tops of your feet. Belly pulls back, exhale, lift those hips. Untuck your toes, downward facing dog. Stay for a breath. Reset. That is our flow. Let's smooth it out. Inhale, rise to toes, gaze forward. Exhale, bend your knees. Step or jump, feet to hands. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sit low, Utkatasana. Exhale, fingers reach forward, hips back. Press into your feet, inhale, rise, big arms circle back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step or jump, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog, stay on the tops of your feet. Flip at the very end. Inhale, right leg to the sky. Exhale, right knee, right elbow, three pendulums. Take that knee left and right, one. Left and right, two. Left and right, inhale, three-legged dog, right leg up and back. Exhale, step your right foot forward. Drop your back knee, back toes stay tucked, arms circle, inhale, arms forward and up. Exhale, arms around and down. Inhale, stretch both legs, hips back, heart forward. Exhale, fold. Rebend your front knee. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, floating warrior, right leg straight, arms up. Exhale, warrior two, back of mat. Left palm to the ceiling, inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle, soft shoulders, long neck. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, low lunge, top of mat, pivot around. Inhale, low lunge, twist, right arm high. Exhale, Vashistasana, your version of side plank. Stay for a breath in. 
Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Use the tops of your feet and belly. Exhale, pull up and back. Flip those toes, downward dog. Inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Three pendulums. Knee to the right and back one. Knee to the right and back two. Knee to the right and back. Inhale, three-legged dog, left leg up and back. Exhale, step your left foot between your hands. Drop your back knee. Arm circle, inhale, arms reach forward and up. Exhale, back around and down. Inhale, stretch both legs, hips back, heart forward. Exhale and fold. Rebend your front knee. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, floating warrior, left leg straight, left toes in, reach up. Exhale, warrior two, back of mat. Right palm to the ceiling, inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle, long through that left side. Inhale, reverse triangle, long through that right side. Exhale, low lunge, top of mat. Inhale, low lunge, twist, left arm high. Exhale, your version of Vashistasana. Stay for a breath in. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Stay on the tops of those feet. Exhale, belly pulls back. Lift your hips. Flip those toes, downward facing dog. One more time through. Even smoother, let your breath lead you. Inhale, rise to toes, look forward. Exhale, bend your knees, step or jump, feet to hands. Inhale, half lift. Big exhale, maybe even open mouth as you fold. Here we go. Inhale, sit low, Utkatasana. Exhale, reach your fingers forward, hips back, flatten out your spine. Press into your feet, inhale, rise up. Exhale, arms around into a forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step or jump. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Tops of feet, belly in. Flip at the end. Inhale, right leg to the sky. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Pause for those pendulums. Knee to the left. Back to the right. Two more. Left and right. Left and right. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, step your right foot between your hands. Drop your back knee. Big circle, inhale, arms forward and up. Exhale, back around and down. Inhale, both legs stretch, hips back, heart forward. Exhale and fold. Rebend your front knee. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, floating warrior, right leg straight, right toes in, reach up. Exhale, warrior two, back of mat. Left palm to the ceiling, inhale, reach back. Exhale, extended side angle, long through that right side. Inhale, reverse triangle, stretch that left side. Exhale, low lunge, top of mat. Inhale, low lunge, twist, right arm high. Exhale, your version of Vashistasana. Stay for a breath in. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Stay on the tops of your feet. Exhale, pull up and back. Flip those toes, down dog. Last time, inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Pendulums, knee to the right. Back to the left, two more. Right and left, right and left. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, step your left foot between your hands. Drop your back knee. Inhale, arms forward and up. Exhale, back around and down. Inhale, stretch both legs, hips back, heart forward. Exhale, fold. Rebend your front knee. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, floating warrior, left leg straight, left toes in, reach up. 
Exhale, warrior two, back of mat. Right palm to the ceiling, inhale, reach back. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse triangle, everything lengthens. Exhale, low lunge, top of mat. Inhale, low lunge, twist, left arm high. Exhale, your version of Vashistasana. Big inhale. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, stay on tops of feet. Exhale, belly pulls in, lift up, flip those toes. Downward dog for three full breaths. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Take one more breath in, full breath out. Inhale, rise to toes, gaze forward. Exhale, bend your knees, step or jump, feet to hands. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold and stay. Heel to your feet, hip width apart. Yogi's choice today, either reaching down in yogic toe lock, first two fingers around those big toes, Padangustasana or Padahastasana, lifting your feet and sliding your hands underneath your feet. Wherever you are, press your feet into your hands, inhale, pull your chest forward, lengthen. Use your exhale to pull your hands or fingers into your feet to help you fold deeper. Elbows pull out to the sides of your mat. Lift your shoulders up your back, pull your collarbones to the floor. Three breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Can you breathe into those back ribs again? Inhale, expand your back ribs. Fold deeper with your exhale. One more big breath in. Full breath out. Release your hands. Heel toe your feet all the way to touch. And then just take a little step back. We're going to come into crow pose, Kakasana, three times. We'll pause in between each set. First crow pose. Plant your hands. Bend your elbows as you bring your knees way up towards your armpits and upper arms. Pull your heart forward and up, like an airplane taking off. Forward and up as you shift weight towards your fingers, lighten up your toes. You might lift one foot, you might lift both feet. Bring your heels towards your butt, push into your hands. Pull your belly in and work to straighten your arms a little bit more. Three breaths, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Take one more breath in. Exhale, land feet, mat with the part, come down into a prayer squat. Interlace your fingers. And while you breathe, just release those wrists a little bit. I want you to watch me. Option to take exactly what you just did, whatever variation of crow is in your practice today. If you'd like to add on, then we can move from crow to tripod Gently shifting forward, landing our head to the floor, and then we'll try and rewind, lifting our heart, lifting our gaze, and then we'll meet back in that prayer squat. Yeah, so your version of crow, if you'd like to try that tripod drop and lift, go for it. I'll give you a few breaths to play. When you've had enough, just come back into this prayer squat, and then we'll move on to version three. Take your time. Really trying to find that shift of weight. The more you can pull forward to lift those feet, the easier it will be. Pulling your belly in if you're lowering your head. And then as you lift back up into crow, pulling your heart forward, gazing forward. We'll all meet in prayer squat in three. You might relax those wrists again. Two, one, good, 
third round. Option for crow, crow to tripod, or maybe crow to tripod, and extending your legs to the ceiling for tripod headstand. Your version, couple breaths to play. Take what feels right in your body today. Once you've had enough, you can come into prayer squat. No rush at all. Whatever option you decide to take, try and rewind and come out the same way you came into it. We'll all meet up in prayer squat in five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. If you just arrived, roll out those wrists a little bit. Nice. Plant your hands to the top of your mat and just step back, downward facing dog. Really ground through your fingertips to take pressure out of your wrist here. Getting longer from your wrist to your forearms, up to those sit bones. And here in down dog, walk your feet forward about six inches. Inhale your right leg to the sky. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. As you do, bend your elbows like chaturanga. Try and make a shelf for that right leg. Gaze to the right. This might be where you stay. Maybe you shift forward and float that back foot for three, two, one. Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg up and back. Exhale, step your right foot between your hands. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, open out, warrior two. Inhale, stretch your right leg. Exhale, trikonasana, hip shift back. Right hand to shin, the outside of right foot, or maybe today grab big toe in yogic toe lock. Let that right hip crease pull back to lengthen your right side waist. Anchor more through your back heel. Let that left sit bone lengthen towards your left heel as you get longer from tail to head. Three breaths, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Take one more breath in. Stay in it as you exhale. Press into your feet, inhale, rise up. Let those arms cartwheel into Gomukhasana arms, right arm high, left arm low. Bend your elbows. Work to grab either fingers, maybe your shirt, a strap, or a towel. Once you organize those arms, turn your right toes in, turn your left toes in, setting up for a wide-legged straddle. Roll your left shoulder back. Anchor through your feet. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale and fold. Three breaths. Inhale. Exhale, keep your left shoulder rolling back. Inhale, exhale, press into your heels, reach your collarbones to the floor. Take one more breath in, fold deeper as you exhale. Stay in this forward fold, just let your arms release and take whatever feels good. Shake your head out, your shoulders out. You might flutter your lips, open your mouth, take a big sigh. Walk your hands around to the right, coming into lizard here. Both arms are inside your right leg. Heel to your right foot to the right slightly and maybe even a touch forward to give yourself even more space. Back knee stays off the floor today. This might be where you stay. Maybe you bring your hand anywhere to the back of that right leg that's useful to help dip your right shoulder as far under that right leg as you can. This might be where you stay. Maybe you come into airplane arms, reaching right and left with your arms, pulling your heart forward. Maybe you bind behind your back. Three breaths, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Take one more breath in. Exhale, release both hands back to the inside of your right foot. 
spread your left fingers wide, really push into your left hand. Grab onto that right big toe in yogic toe lock. Spin to the outer edges of both feet. Then I want you to see as you push into that left hand, if you can hover your right foot off the floor, maybe stay, maybe stretch that right leg to the ceiling or feel free to take any variation of Vashisthasana. Three breaths, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Take one more breath in, exhale, chaturanga, take your time. Inhale, up dog, stay in the tops of your feet. Exhale, pull your belly and lift up, then flip your toes. Full breath in, full breath out. Walk your feet forward about six inches. Now you know where we're going. Inhale your left leg to the sky. Exhale, left knee to left elbow. As you do, bend your elbows like chaturanga. Make a shelf for that left leg on your left arm and look left. Pull towards your fingertips. Maybe so much that that back leg lifts for three, two, one. Inhale, three-legged dog, left leg up and back. Exhale, step your left foot between your hands. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, stretch that front leg, big reach. Exhale, Trikonasana. Left hand to left shin, the outside of left foot, or today maybe grab that left big toe and yogic toe lock. Really pull your left hip crease back, lengthen your left side waist. Anchor through your back heel, let that right sit bone reach towards your back heel. Pull your belly in, three breaths, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, take one more breath in, full breath out. Inhale, press down to rise, cartwheeling those arms around, left arm up, right arm down, and then work into Gomukhasana. Just with the arms here, good. Grab for your fingers, your shirt, a strap, a towel, and then once you've organized those arms, left toes turn in, right toes turn in, roll your right shoulder back, push into your feet, inhale, lift your heart, exhale, and fold, inhale, exhale, keep that right shoulder rolling back, inhale, press down through your heel. Exhale, take one more breath in. Pull your collarbones even closer to the floor as you exhale. Release your arms, staying this fold, just shake it out. Again, you might flutter the lips, you might take a big sigh, whatever feels good. <sighs> and crawl your hands around to the left, coming into a lizard. Both arms inside our left leg. Create as much space as you need, heel toeing that left foot to the left and forward. Keep your back knee off the floor today. This might be where you stay. Maybe you bring that left hand anywhere along the back of your left leg to help you out to dip that left shoulder under. That might be where you stay. Option for airplane arms, right and left with your arms, pulling your heart forward. Option to bind behind you. Three breaths, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Take one more breath in. Exhale, both hands to the inside of your left foot. Spread those right fingers, push into your right hand. Grab that left big toe in yogic toe lock. Spin to the outer edges of both feet. As you push into that right hand a little more, maybe hover your left heel. Maybe extend that left leg up or feel free to move into any version of Vashisthasana. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Take one more breath in. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, stay in the tops of your feet, pull your belly in, exhale, lift up. 
flip those toes, downward dog. Take a big breath in, exhale knees to the floor, land in child's pose. Sit bones to your heels, bend your elbows, drop your head, close your eyes. Walk your hands towards your knees. Come to sit on your heels and then come to stand on your knees. Ustrasana camel pose. Tuck your toes, knees or hip width apart, hands are to the top of your buttocks flesh. Roll your shoulders back, draw your elbows in. Push your hips forward, lift your heart and gaze. Keep those hips moving forward. Trace your gaze along the ceiling towards the wall behind you. Maybe you stay here, maybe you reach for your heels, maybe you untuck your toes. Three breaths, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Take one more breath in. Exhale slowly, hands to lower back as you rise. Untuck your toes, sit on your heels, yogi's choice, palms down to ground, palms up to receive. If your palms are up, focus a little more on your inhales. If your palms are down, focus a little more on your exhales. Option to close your eyes. Your eyes are closed, flutter than open. Come back to your knees, one more round, Ustrasana. Starting with those toes tucked, hands to your lower back, and then you can move into any variation you'd like. Shoulders back, elbows in, push your hips forward, lift your heart. Maybe stay or maybe make your move. Three breaths, inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, take one more breath in. Exhale, rewind, hands to low back. Come up to stand on your knees. Untuck your toes, sit back gently to your heels. One more time, palms down or up, eyes closed or soft. Match your breath with the placing of your palms. Your eyes are closed, flutter them open. Sit off to one side, swing your legs around to the front of your space. And we're gonna make our way into Gomukhasana with our legs now. I want you to fold your right leg in, that right knee will be towards the center of your mat, and then try and stack your left knee on top of your right. For me, it's helpful if I come forward onto my hands and knees, I can kind of sneak that left knee over a little more. Stack those legs and then arrange your feet in one line horizontally. You might need to adjust and land both sit bones to the floor evenly. This might be enough. You might feel this already. Big breaths here if this is you. Otherwise, inhale more length and exhale slowly. Start to fold. And there's no rush here. Use each breath as a, a gentle baby step into a little deeper stretch. The idea of a deeper stretch, you might not even move deeper into it, but you might just soften more. You might find more subtle release, less gripping, less resistance.
Gently make your way back up to sit. Keep your legs like this for a moment. Right hand to left leg, left fingers behind you. Sit up tall as you breathe in. And on an exhale, twist to the left. One more big breath in. Twist deeper as you exhale. Moving through center, just a little counter twist the other way. Can push left arm into left leg. It's easy gaze around to the right. And when you're ready, move back through center. Keep it simple, just swap out those legs. Easiest way for you to get in, that might mean coming onto your hands and knees. Left leg on the bottom, right leg on top. Take your time. Feet in one line horizontally. Ground through both sit bones. Maybe just evaluate here. Perhaps you stay or inhale more length. Exhale and fold. Make your way up to sit. Keep the shape in your legs for a little twist. Left hand to right leg, right fingers behind you. Sit up tall as you breathe in. Twist around deeper as you exhale. One more big inhale. Full exhale. Move through center. Around for a little counter twist to the left. Push right arm into right leg. Gaze back over that left shoulder. And come back to center. Extend both legs out in front of you. As you do, start with a little shake. Just release hips and knees. And flex your feet. Sit up tall. Take a breath in. Exhale and fold. Reaching wherever you can for legs or feet and then walk your sit bones back a little bit. Pull your heart forward a little more. Refold, re-soften over your legs. Stay in this forward fold. I just want you to point through your feet now. Give me a little stretch through the tops of your feet. If your hand, hands can reach your feet, then you might guide those feet to go even deeper. Stretching the tops of your arches through your toes. Relax your feet as you roll up slowly and continue to unroll all the way onto your back. Once you arrive, gentle drawing in of your knees. Turn your head side to side. And let your knees move a little right to left, release through your lower back. And flex your feet, come into happy baby. Reach for the outer edges of your feet and pull on your feet. Use that pulling down to help bring your knees closer to the floor. At the same time, press your low back into the floor and kick your feet up into your hands. Tuck your chin slightly, back of neck stays long. Then yogi's choice to add some rocks, stretch one or both legs straight. Just see what feels good. We're here for a few more breaths. And when you're ready,
ready, draw both knees into your chest. Take both knees over to the left. Look to the right. Bring your knees through center. Take both knees over to the right. Look to the left. Back through center. Wrap your arms around your shins for a good hug, a good squeeze. Bring your forehead to your knees. Breathe here for three. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Two. Take one more breath in. One. Release and set up for final rest. Shavasana. Legs long, arms alongside your body. Really feel the back of your body connecting, dropping, releasing into the earth as it rises up to support you. And add to that release of your back body by softening your front body. Easy heart. Soft belly. Soft thighs. Find weight at the palms of your hands. Release any tension in your throat, your jaw. And let your eyes get a little heavier in their sockets. Start to deepen your breath.
Start to deepen your breath. Enlivening the front of your body by breathing into your belly, breathing into your heart. And continue waking up by moving your fingers and toes, your wrists, your ankles. Turn your head side to side. And give yourself a full body stretch. Reach your arms overhead. Fingers reach out, toes reach out. Take a big breath in. Maybe open your mouth, stick out your tongue or yawns. You exhale. And draw your knees to your chest. Roll to your right. Then work your way up to a comfortable seated position. Close your eyes, draw your hands to your heart. Every new experience brings its own maturity and a greater clarity of vision. Indira Gandhi. The divine light in me bows to the divine light in you. Namaste.